What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on Giants franchise. If you guys are new here, I would appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. Definitely if you guys are following this channel, or whatever, like the video if we can try to hit a thousand likes. Um, that would be fantastic. But I've made some changes. Russell Shepard has been moved down in the depth chart. He doesn't really do much for us. And a Cody Latimer has been moved up as is Roger Lewis Jr. He will be that third receiver for us. Sterling Shepard, of course, will stay in the slot, though, uh, on plays where we utilize a slot receiver. Lorenzo Carter is now the mainstay at starting left outside linebacker. He'll come down to the defensive end on, on uh, pass rushing downs and things like that. And B.J. Hill is now the starting defensive tackle in place of Damon Harrison Sr. Now, Damon Harrison has been cleared to play. We're not going to play him this week. I just He's not going to play through the injury. That's ridiculous. So Rob Thomas has been moved down. He's not very good. And um, that's where that stays. So we're going to, I guess, start backup, even though that's not the backup. It's going to be, in fact, BJ Hill. You guys know that now. And um, John Greco. What do, we, what do we say about John Greco? We're going to continue to start Nick Becton. And I've made some changes to the sliders again, just to keep you guys up to date. A lot of people are saying all pro just plays way better, but... I don't know, people like all Madden, whatever. Pass blocking, I think I turned up by 5 to a 65 from a 50, or from a 60. Mm, actually, I left it the same. Did I? I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, all my stats say the same. I moved up QB accuracy just by 2. I know Drew Brees was really all over his last game, but I just moved it up a bit. And then I amped up run blocking to a 60, and then pass blocking down to a 25. We have no pass rush. Despite having good pass rushers, they just don't do anything. And JJ Watts out for the season. That sucks for him. I have a little bit of coach XP. So I'm going to use that. And um, it's going to be on some type of, of XP boost. And what would be the best way to use it? D-line, linebackers, or defensive backs? I think I think linebackers is what we're going to use it on first. And uh, we have a contract to maybe restructure. Odell Beckham Jr. So he's obviously a very good player. 25 years old in the prime of his career superstar development already in 95 overall he is the most important piece of our team more so than saquon barkley who i believe is number two more so than landon collins who's probably number three saquon barkley is super important but odell is just on another planet right now we gotta pay him i would be happy to sign odell till he's 31 so that'd be a six-year contract and which means i can probably take down the salary to about nine and the signing bonus to let's try five flat let's try even eight five at first we can always move it up we're gonna offer him just below uh just above 80 million and that's a cap hit of just under nine per year to stay with the team i hope he resigns, and he does odell beckham jr will be a new york giant into his 30s that is fantastic landon collins we're gonna maybe deal with that next week eagles are four and oh we are one and three but certainly not out of it yet. We play the Carolina Panthers today. Before we do that, I use my scouting points. I checked out some quarterbacks. And the quarterback class doesn't appear to be super talented. The highest overall stat for any of them is a B plus, And that's not great. Wide receivers, I haven't made any progress on. And of course, there's a player named Ty Earl. So I had to scout him. And uh, just his name is a typo. It has to be. He looks okay, but we're not really in the market for a defensive tackle if Damon Harrison's going to be healthy. But live at Bank of America Stadium in, what is it, North Carolina? Play the Carolina Panthers. Should be a good one. I don't want to deal with Cam, but <laughs> we don't really have a choice. All right, facing the Panthers. Cam Newton could be a problem. The Panthers have overall a weak secondary. So this could be a really interesting game. We're looking to torch him over the top with Odell Beckham Jr. Maybe a little bit of Sterling Shepard action. This is a pretty good matchup for us. The Panthers are an all right team for sure. But I think we might actually have the upper edge here. Just got to shut down that man in Cam Newton. And we could have a really good shot. Let's uh, get the win. We're going to start by kicking off. And again, we have no kicking line. That's just, uh, that's killer, man. That's a really bad start to the game because we're gonna have to deal the entire game Without being able to see where we're kicking the ball uh, Brutal. All right Hopefully the CPU pass block slider being turned down actually results in players getting natural pressure Which would be awesome because we face it enough and then pass blocking of course move down run blocking moved up 
Christian McCaffrey. Not not anywhere to go on that one. All right, BJ, BJ Goodson coming off a great game last week. And that is open. William Gay. Yo, okay. BJ Goodson, I, I need user picks again today. Is that play action? Oh, that's pressure. Alec Ogletree with the sack. Of course, again, linebackers are the only ones who get sacks for us. And I'm not really sure. Why did he blitz there? We were in Tampa, too. He was supposed to be in coverage. Not really sure what happened. I'll take it. That's a run. It's a play action. Someone get Cam Newton. Landon Collins finally does. Seven yards, though, is the first down. Play action. Get back. Someone get to Cam, dude. Hey, he's so fast. He's so fast. That's going to be such a problem. Second and four. It's going to be another run. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> CJ Anderson picks up 10. I'd love Lorenzo Carter to get his first career sack like the goal indicates, but I'm also not going to use her the defensive line. But apparently using the linebacker is not too helpful either. Christian McCaffrey gashing us. And provided we block this kick, we could hold them to zero points. Big if. And it didn't happen. Surprise, surprise. They have a weak cornerback. I, I feel like, other than Luke Keekley, we don't really have to worry about anyone too much defensively. Uh, or maybe their whole, in def their whole entire defensive line just shed all at the same time. Uh, so maybe we do have some guys to worry about. Third and 19. What are the odds we complete this? Pressure's been, uh, once again, astounding. But we're gonna find Evan Ingram. We got the first down and more. Evan Ingram to the 44, 28 yards on our first pass of the day. We tried to pass a little bit earlier. Uh, it wasn't working out so well. We're looking at Evan Ingram again. I'll take another first down. Is this cover two? Oh, they're gonna bring him down. Let's, let's block Rhett Ellison. Slide protect left for that blitz. Saquon Barkley's gonna be on a, uh, Delayed release, pretty much. And Odell Beckham's was open. Thomas Davis should be playing in the NBA with those hops because he jumped 30 feet in the air to shut that one down. Unbelievable. Oh, that's just a great ball. To DJ Moore, he somehow breaks off Landon Collins' hit stick. Just great pass by Cam Newton, threading the needle there. DJ Moore, he's, he's playing really well so far. Playing the hook zone here with B.J. Goodson. Hopefully Alec Ogletree does his job on Christian McCaffrey, who's basically a wide receiver in the backfield. But we're there. Landon Collins step in front. That pass is not only complete. I think that's a first down. <laughs> okay. Play action. Quick throw, and it's actually picked off by William Gay. One of the only cornerbacks to have an interception on the year for us. Actually, you know what? No, I think... I think Eli Apple has one as well. I think Janoris Jenkins has one. So we have our three starting cornerbacks, if you will, out of the nickel package with an interception. Ooh. What do we have here? This is a blitz for sure. If Odell burns quick, Sterling Shepard burns quickly, we're going to have a look. We're going to throw it up to Odell. He burned press. Held on. Odell Beckham Jr. rolls over the safety too. Colin Jones. We got the first down a little bit more. We're going to throw this ball. Sterling Shepard can't hang on. Thread the needle there, and uh, it actually worked out pretty well. It was a great throw by Eli, right where I wanted it to be to Sterling Shepard, and he couldn't hold on. Always something. We're going to try a 49-year field goal here. Clearly, as you guys can see my predicament, I have no idea where it is. I'm going to try to move slightly to the right. We got the wind. Slightly bore to the right. Just slightly... And then to the right a little bit more with the kicking thing. And it's too far to the right. I mean, my field goal percentage with Aldrich Rosas is going to be terrible. But what do you want me to do? I can't tell where I'm kicking. It's really a guessing game. And I, it's not a game I enjoy. Up the middle, even if it's play action. We should have been there. We got pressure with BJ Hill, though with our, I believe, first natural defensive line pressure of the year. We've had some sheds in the sacks with OV, 
with Dalvin Tomlinson. I think that's our first natural, actual shed. And it's a it's a thing of beauty for BJ Hill. Oh, it's a sack fumble! Are they calling that incomplete? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Dude, I love the natural pressure that we're occasionally getting. That's awesome. It, that's awesome. I'm glad to see the sliders are playing pretty well. That's a sack fumble, though. That is not an incomplete pass. There's no way. All right, this is wide open to the left. I just need a block from Rhett Ellison, who's the new starting fullback. And Saquon's up the middle. Got lucky there. Stayed patient. Got the first down. But it, nothing was there to the outside. Second and ten. Sterling Shepard could be open really deep. If this is man, we've got Sterling Shepard for a huge gain. These jumps from the linebackers, and I know it was not a linebacker, but he was playing down like a linebacker. They gotta stop. Because I have open receivers, and I can't throw them the ball. Oh, William Gay almost jumped that. He was going for DJ Moore. William Gay in coverage? Are you showing up this game? Come out and more neck will get you some more action. Oh, the ball's loose. Janoris Jenkins recovers. Forces it, recovers it, and we can score before half. Great play from Janoris Jenkins all around. Dude, we're going to have Odell on this corner. We're going to go Saquon, though. It's just a safer throw. Oh, there's a juke. I finally juked somebody out. It's taken a while, but we got it. Saquon, Odell, do I throw a fade here? Yeah, I'm going to go Saquon. And we're going to call a timeout. It's third and goal. I'm looking Evan Ingram. I'm looking Sterling Shepard. Evan Ingram might be my primary read, though. I'm going to go Odell. Odell Beckham Jr. Touchdown. That's who I should have looked. I just got to go for the best player. And that's that's going to be Odell Beckham Jr. every time. I hate this, man. I know I keep complaining. This is complain-worthy. This is a game glitch that has not been fixed. That's a big problem. Running away from Luke Keekley, I like it. Too bad Thomas Davis is also out there. And he's pretty good. We're going to spin back. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty good spin move. Just to redirect. Probably should get used to using one cut. Because one cut's probably way better there. I'll get the hang of it eventually. I just gotta, I just gotta practice. Odell's got it. Dude, just hold the block for a second. Not even half a second longer. And that's a huge gain to Odell. We're getting crushed. Just the pass rush comes in so quickly. Very, very annoying. I'm looking at Odell up the seam, maybe. We're going to step up with Eli. No, Eli. Slide, slide. All right. Whatever you want to do. He's not very responsive when you're actually trying to use him. Not, not very responsive at all. I feel like we use Saquon Barkley more as a receiver than a running back. Sure, we're only throwing into him like, for super short yard situations. But uh, it's a lot. And obviously there, I mean, we can't do anything. And I mean, we'll kick. Hopefully in the right area. And I'm not, I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah, not great. But uh, again, what do you want me to do? I can't see where it is. Panthers driving a little bit. Oh, uh, they're going to go over the top. Darian Thompson tips it up. Just dive for the interception, please, Landon. Even Darian Thompson going for it again. I'm holding Y at that point. He knocks it in the air, saves the touchdown at least. Third and eight. I'm comfortable with him taking that deep shot. I'll leave that open with BJ Goodson. Not open, but like covered enough. Here we go to the flat. It's incomplete for Greg Olson. Will they settle for the field goal here? It's a bit of a long one, but I think I think most definitely. First and ten, let's find something here. More than happy to check down Sterling Shepard. I tried maybe one cutting there. Mm, didn't really look like it. We'll swing him. And hopefully somebody gets open. I'm just going to check down to Red Ellison here. Red Ellison gets really close. However, no cigar, and we're going to punt on fourth and two. Good pressure. It's going to be Alec Ogletree again. Linebackers seem to be the only ones doing anything. But uh, we've got our first game with more than two sacks, I think. 
Is it that sad? <laughs> That's sad. Oh, tried to get there and we did it. Made the play on third 19 to at least have DJ Moore drop that pass if we can't get the interception. We do just that. These are not exactly high scoring games. <laughs> They're not. But uh, good defense is fun to watch for some people. I like good defense. Oh, Saquon Barkley turning on the Jets. We're by Mike Adams. Colin Jones finally brings him down. But Saquon Barkley, I really, really tried to lay off using a right trigger there or R2 for speed burst. And I think it was a lot more effective, clearly. Which relies on a little bit better blocking. Don't really have much there. Can we run back to the left? We can. Blocking is there. Oh, my, are you kidding me? It's set up so nicely, only for two Panthers to shed instantly when we get anywhere close. I, I don't have time to throw. I don't have time. We're in a cover two. We called the exact perfect play for cover two. And um, it doesn't matter. Almost a great punt. Almost is only... Uh, Important in hand grenades and horseshoes though, so They're at the 20. I don't think they're gonna be able to get the snap off here unless cam really hurries it We're gonna take it to the fourth quarter seven to six barn burner going on here and maybe the most exciting game in NFL history 135 yards are just about for both teams <laughs> oh, Awesome It's gonna be a QB draw I switched off of BJ Goodson by accident. Did we stop him? Of course not. We can get to Cam. Oh man, tried to hit him. That would probably be a flag in the NFL. But uh, roughing the passer, not that that's what that would be called for. But uh, we turn that off because we're paying the refs, so we're never getting a penalty. Oh no. Oh no. Please, can we get pressure? Please, cover, force a turnover, something. No, no, none of that's going to happen, really. He's going to go deep. Make the play, Darian Thompson. Oh, again. We had V2 where he tips it up. He can't come down with it. That would be so big. Oh, my God. Somebody better fumble the ball. I need the ball back. Landon Collins is so bad in this franchise and not even bad is the word but he just doesn't show up ever and honestly like i think it's just a part of the sliders the qb never really takes shots deep and if they do it's at darian thompson landon collins he just never has an opportunity to get involved third and four. Oh no i'm gonna i'm gonna get torched on this i already know over the middle is gonna be open i can't cover everything And I, I kind of vacate my zone there, trying to account for Cam. DJ Moore gets his first career touchdown here in week in week five, and they're going to go for two. That's my bad. We're a man now. It's going to be a run. OV stops it. All right, touchdown wins the game. Bottom line, no extra points. I don't have to worry about that garbage. Touchdown wins the game. Just give me time here. I know Odell can burn. He kind of did. I'm going to go inside, though, to Sterling Shepard. I thought that was a better decision. He holds on through the hit stick, past midfield. We're knocking on the door. Are they not covering Odell? No, he's going to the other side of the field. That was a little bit weird. We should have blocking to that side. They are stacked heavy left. Go, Saquon. Go, Saquon. There's the juke. Saquon Barkley. Great run. Going to try Saquon again. That stiff arm, just not that great. We got a couple of yards. It's going to take us to the two-minute warning. It is going to be third and ten, though. And uh, we need to score badly. It is four-down territory. So we could take a check down here. Jonathan Stewart's in the game. I don't like that. I'm going to drag Odell. Hope something gets open. We're going to go Jonathan Stewart. I'll take that. Get a pretty good gain. It's going to be fourth and three. Odell is going to line up basically in the slot here. 
This could be so bad. Saquon's in the game. Do we run it here? It looks like a really good front to run it on. I'm going to run the ball. I need this, Saquon. Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley up the middle. Saquon Barkley, touchdown. Salutes it. Like I'm outroing a video. Saquon outroing on the Carolina Panthers. We're going to take a 13 to 12 lead before the two point conversion. And that fourth down conversion was huge. I don't know what this defensive front is. I don't, I don't like a smash play. I think that's going to be weird. We're going to run it anyway. Saquon Barkley up the middle. Touchdown. And he is apparently trying to jack off Luke Keekley. I don't know what that was. Absolutely disgusting, Saquon. Save that for another day. 15 to 12, New York Giants. We have a three-point lead. A minute 28 to play. Just got to shut them down. They have three timeouts. They can easily drive on us. We're not going to play press. Third and six. They're going to go short. Janoris Jenkins beaten man by Jeremy Macklin. And yes, it is 2018. Unbelievable. Oh my, that's so open. Oh, the ball's loose! And recovered by Landon Collins. I'm talking trash because he doesn't do anything. Landon Collins going to force a fumble on Jeremy Macklin. He recovers and we can ice the game. Oh my God, Landon, what a play. Uh, this is a great front to run on. This is fantastic. Third and six, we're going to run the football. That's a pancake. Saquon Barkley up the middle. First down. That should kill it. That also means Saquon should be up over 100 yards at this point. He's pretty damn close. What is Saquon at? Because honestly, I'll give him another touch to get 100 yards if he doesn't have it. He's got to be real close. 104. Yes. We're finally over 100 yards with Saquon Barkley. And you know what? We'll give him another touch anyway. He's earned it. Game-winning touchdown. And uh, game-winning ice of the Carolina Panthers. That's going to be the ball game. We're going to win another one here. Back-to-back -back wins as we improve to 15-12. and 12. Ron Rivera littering inside Bank of America Stadium. Something to consider if you're going to bring him to a contract extension as he's not environmentally conscious. Not that it matters inside a stadium. But uh, yeah, we win a game. Winning number two here. Not a ton of offense going on. It was a really big defensive matchup. And Eli was just okay. Throw for a touchdown. Was pretty careful with the ball. No interceptions. 13 for 21. Not a whole ton of completions, but did all right. Saquon, 21 rushes, 110 yards, and a touchdown. Even Jonathan Stewart, I thought, had some action. He might have caught a pass, is what he did. Receiving. Um, Saquon had five catches, 16 yards. We had Odell Beckham Jr., with a touchdown, two receptions, 36 yards for him. Evan Ingram's two, or Evan Ingram two for 41. And yes, Jonathan Stewart did have a reception blocking. As far as sacks go, we were a little bit better this week. We got the ball out a lot quicker and thus avoided a lot of pressure. Tackles for loss, uh, a number of players. I mean, the Panthers dominated the line of scrimmage, to be fair. Alec Ogilvie had two sacks. BJ Hill had a sack. OV had a sack. Interceptions, William Gay got one. Force fumbles, Janoris Jenkins, of course, Landon Collins, as they also recovered their own force fumbles. And they were so critical to us getting the win here. But guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.